Hi guys, I am An and welcome back to my hair channel. Uh, you might have known girls and frontal have become very popular these days. Therefore, having a complete knowledge of frontal and girls is essential if you don't want to bust up this amazing beauty ad. So, I'm here to let you know. Let's get started. Of course, in addition to the factors of the hair length or the textures, when choosing colors and frontal, make sure you have the following factors in mind. First, let's talk about the size. Why frontal with only the regular size, which is just by four? Twelve by four. Gauzer, however, comes in many sizes, such as 6x6. Six six. 5x5. Four by four. Two by six. Two by four. Choosing the right size depends on the needs and how many bundles you want. The larger the size, the more expensive the bride will be. Each size has its own pros and cons. We got a separate details video explaining the pros and cons of side frontal closure. You can check out that video in the description box. The next thing I'd like to talk about is the part of closure frontal. Hair parts also an important factor when choosing frontal closure. Usually, a person has the own way of dividing the part of hair in accordance with the face. We usually have a middle part, three part, and three part. Of course, the three part and three part frontal closure are parting ways that give more flexibility when you style your hair. Another important factor when choosing a suitable frontal closure is lace. It's when design whether your hairline looks beautiful and natural. There are many types of lace on the market today, such as Swiss lace, transparent lace, and Ed lace. But we can suggest you two types, Ed lace and transparent lace, because they are the most popular on the market. So, what good about Ed lace? The texture of Ed lace completely blends into the scalp. Hence, the lace will give us the scalp illusion, and it doesn't look like a fake hairline. When using edgy lace frontal, you won't find itching or allergy on the scalp. There is no need to apply glue to install edgy lace. However, edgy lace are not the best option for the beginners, because they are extremely thin. You need to be careful while handling film lace. About transparent lace, you can install transparent lace without using glue. A large cool thing is that transparent lace can be tied or colored to match your skin tone. So what's the catch? Well, you might have to customize transparent lace, not to mention they are comparatively hard in my result in scale irritation. Last but not least is a knot. There are two types of knots, single knots and double knots. Most of you might have heard about single knots and double knots. But do you know the difference between single knots and double knots? Single knots are very common due to the fact that they hard to spot. The strand of hair are lost and tied into the hair system, usually around the hairline. Single knots are invisible and give a more natural appearance. With single knots, the hair can be very flat. 
Why is it look more natural? They are more easier losing than double knots. As a result, single knot hair systems are less durable than double knot hair systems. Therefore, they are more prone to shedding. Single knots are very simply more fragile than double knots. Double knots are a bit more durable than single knots. They work well with heavy hair density. In double knot hair system, two or three strands of hair are attracted to double knots. They are much more durable, they are less setting in comparison to single knot hair system. Their drawback is that they are less natural looking as they are larger and more visible. If the hair system is not with double knots, they are trying to keep people from looking at it too closely. So that's it for the video. I hope this be information was helpful and you were able to choose a frontal closure that works for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe with hair to uh, update more knowledge about hair tensions. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.